Hey, my collective family. Welcome back. It's Empress Meek. Hope you guys are doing well. Thank you for your likes, shares, and subscribes. Let's go ahead and dive in and see what messages Spirit may have for you today. Let's start out with these Oracle cards to see what comes out. Then we're going to find out what's going on in the feelings around you, the energy around you, what you might be feeling or your people might be feeling about you. Then we're going to clarify with the tarot. Let's get started. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Ancestors, and Gods, thanks for bringing me here with my collective lovies. Thank you for all you do in the divine realm, seen and unseen blessings you bestow upon us each and every day. Thank you for messages of clarity, truth, love, and light, and blocking and binding all negative energy, entities, witchcraft, and wickedness. Amen, amen, amen. All right, don't let people suck the air out of your spirit. So this is something that spirit wants you to focus on. I feel like there could be some situations that you could feel maybe draining you. Maybe people are, a lot of people are pulling at your energy, asking for your help, dumping their problems on you. It could be anything like that. But I feel like whatever it is, it's making you feel depleted. So there's a need for you not to let people deplete you um, and try to pull back your energy. Um, give them your energy in doses. All right. But um, don't let situations get you down or cause you to overextend yourself and drain all your energy. All right. That's the overall message here. So let's find out what else Spirit wants to say and then we'll find out why that's here. Know whatever decision you made, it was the right one. All right. So somebody may be second guessing themselves or there may be a situation that's causing you to question your judgment. Um, maybe you want to make sure you did the right thing. Somebody feels like they may have overreacted. But um, Spirit is saying the decision you made was the right one. You did the right thing. So trust your inner guidance and your intuition and your discernment, okay? Um, because you're doing the right thing. You're on the right track. I feel like I feel like you may have pulled back from someone or somebody may have pulled back their energy a bit because somebody doesn't want to feel drained or weighed, weighed down. You know, people, um, energy vampires, people do that a lot. Um, they dump on you telling you all kinds of negative things or just putting a lot of pressure on you, making you feel depleted or draining your energy, pulling information out of you or getting you to talk to them about something and maybe you were thinking about something else or in a very happy vibration. And then here they come with all these issues and things like that and it just drains your energy. It's definitely okay to be there for, with um, for someone, but don't let them deplete you, okay? Don't let them just dump on you so much and so long that, you know, they're telling you about the dog died, the car broke down, the grocery store man got smart. Like, it's just everything all together. And by the end of the conversation, you're just feeling exhausted. All right? Spirit doesn't want you to do that or overextend yourself trying to just help above and beyond. And, you know, it's something that this person can do, like learn their lessons, okay? Uh, so spirit wants you to be aware of these things travel as much as you can this will add dimension to your life so maybe there's a need for someone to take a trip maybe you want to get out is there something that you want to do spirit is saying go ahead and travel enjoy yourself if you can take a break and take some time off do so i feel like it's going to help you feel very much more fulfilled um and it's going to give you more motivation okay um, so somebody needs to take a trip and go do something or see a place that they haven't seen before. Or maybe one that you have seen and you enjoyed it, okay? Let go. I mean, really let go. There's something better on the horizon. So somebody could be dealing with a relationship problem or something about friends or family that is just draining, okay? Spirit wants you to let go of this, but I feel like it's something to do with matters of the heart, with love. Um, but Spirit says it's okay to let go. There's something better on the horizon. You don't really have to do something here. And it could be a job. It could be love. It could be anything that you're putting your all into and you don't feel rewarded or feel like this is rewarding or really making you really feel fulfilled, okay? So let's see what the energies are around you for my collective, all signs, all placements. Thank you, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, and thank you, God. For somebody who has to do something with an offer, maybe talking to someone, spiritual awakening. See these cards here. Somebody could be feeling guilty. Yeah. Moving on, trying to see what else is out there. Somebody could regret their decision, like I saw, like we just saw. <clears throat> somebody could feel like I shouldn't have left this person behind. Why did I do that? I overreacted. Huh. 
Holy Spirit, show me clear messages for my collective all signs, all placements. Okay, so there's some type of union. And the union card, all right, so it came out in reverse because I'm holding the deck in reverse. But um, this is some kind of union, some type of opportunity or relationship. Spirit is saying it's okay to let this go. Um, maybe somebody is holding on for their life. You're like, oh my God, I don't want to let this person go. Somebody is going to get them. Um, we have so much in common. We're used to each other, something of that nature. But Spirit is saying it's okay to let this go because this person is draining you. All right. They're taking all your energy. You feel depleted. You don't feel yourself. It makes you feel less than. It's time for you to release this. Okay. For somebody. Show me more Spirit. What about this travel card? All right, traveling more will help you elevate, all right? It will add dimension to your life because you'll get more in touch with your inner self. Maybe it's time for you to go on some type of retreat, you know, by yourself, all right? But for here, for this message, Spirit is telling someone, maybe you should travel. Just get away from everything, the everyday norm. Get away from your routine. Just take a break from it and go see something. Go do something that you haven't done before. This will help. And I feel like this will open doors, all right, and give you more opportunities. Know that whatever decision you made, it was the right one. Somebody made a decision to end something here, transformation. It was time for a change with this death card. I feel like endings bringing new beginnings. Somebody walked away from a situation. Um, and this little bit of self-doubt is normal um, because that was your natural routine. Like you're used to that person. And some people believe that it's better to, to be with somebody where you know all their crazy habits and routines than start a new chapter with someone and it's full of surprises and it could be all bad all right so somebody feels like it's like cheaper to keeper type energy <laughs> but um spirit is saying no you made the right decision it's okay to really let go there is something better out here for you all right spirit wants you to release this don't let people suck the air out of you let's see <clears throat> Trust in divine timing. It's okay to let go. All right? Spirit wants you to trust. Trust that things will work out for you. They, trust that there are better opportunities out there for you. And trust that it won't take you long to get there. You know, to get over this situation and back out there. Okay? So just take it how it resonates, guys. Um, these are very general messages. If you want a personal reading, my email address is, I mean, well, my website is closer than number two, mydestiny.com, where you can book your personal reading there. Okay, let's go ahead and dive into the tarot and see what the tarot is telling you about this energy surrounding you. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Ancestors, and Spirit Guides for my collective lovies, all signs, all placements. I miss you guys. Thank you guys for being here with me. Go ahead and like the video if you haven't liked it, if you like what we're doing over here, or if you resonate with me or want to connect with my energy, all right? And if you have a Virgo loved one or you are a Virgo, we have a Virgo channel at Closer, the number two, My Destiny. You just type that in and you will see my picture pop up. I actually have dark hair on that picture and you'll see all my videos there. Union, let go. So somebody, spirit is telling you that it's time to heal. Now, I could be talking to my air signs. I also feel fire, okay? But spirit is saying it's time to heal. It's time to let go of a situation, all right? Somebody is thinking um, very deeply, all right? But they're still not letting go of this person here. No matter what they're doing, they're healing, but they're holding on. Maybe for hopes for communication, all right? That's what I see here. So spirit is saying let go. Show me one more. Why is the four of swords here, spirit? Why do they need to let go of this? <clears throat> See this? Eight of cups energy. Somebody is emotionally unavailable now. Or somebody is just needing to fill their cups back up. This person has depleted you. You see all the dumped out cups? It's like you're giving and giving and giving to a situation that's not giving back to you. So it's time for you to walk away. It's time for you to protect your heart and your energy. And somebody is going toward their spiritual awakening. Spirit has a lot to show you. With this moon here, finally shining through the clouds, you, you, you're, somebody's intuition or vision um, has been clouded. Judgment has been clouded. But Spirit is clearing that up for you. 
Show me more about higher self activation, please. This is you going through your spiritual awakening. Okay, could be a queen of pentacles, could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or it could be a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Time for somebody to take a trip here to walk away from something. Maybe somebody needs to clear the air, clear your mind. All right. This is talking about moving on, walking away, moving on to calmer waters, resolving issues. Okay. Somebody definitely needs to go somewhere to clear their head. Know that whatever decision you made, it was the right one. Somebody ended something for their happiness. All right. Somebody got the downloads and the messages that if you walk away from this, you could be so much happier. Somebody said, I need my peace. All right. I need my peace. And you found it. Show me one more, please, Spirit. It was the right one. Spirit is supporting you. Also, you're going to be blessed for this. This is the equal give and take card. Divine balance. All right. This is um somebody that could have been giving to two or talking to someone else. This is also you talking with your friends, family, or getting advice, exchanging information, okay? Somebody else could have been gossiping, so you could have ended it. But I feel like this is you getting blessed from spirit, okay? Getting the blessings that you deserve because you walked away. Or this is the spirit saying you should have held back because this person was dealing with someone else or somebody was being deceptive behind your back gossiping. Show me trust in divine timing. This is your angels with the temperance card bringing balance. Also, this is somebody finding out that somebody was talking to someone else and deciding to hold back from them. This could be an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. The truth. Trust in divine timing that the truth will come out very soon. Something will be revealed to you. Or trust in divine timing that there will be a new opportunity of, um, available to you. So something new is coming. Something a lot better is coming. Okay? That's what spirit wants you to know. Somebody has communication coming in. It's time for somebody to cut off this situation because the sword of truth can represent severing ties or starting a new connection or a new commitment. All right? Or, you know, new communication or getting to know or anything like that. Um but the world card signifies somebody not learning their karmic lessons, somebody not wanting to let go of something. It's like no matter how many things are happening, you still believe that if you hold on, it will be better. That's the biggest lie ever told. If you let go, you will learn the lesson and whatever is meant for you will come back to you. It's time to walk away from this situation because it's not helping you. Okay, this situation, this person or, or thing is not helping you. All right, so spirit is telling you it's time to cut this off, walk away, because you're not learning that way. This person is a sneaky snake, okay, trying to get away with something, okay? So you definitely want to move on. Yeah, stand your ground. Stay your ground, learn from this, and move forward. This is representing you have one fight, one good fight left in you, okay? So they're saying be confident, be bold, and set your boundaries now. Okay, so this definitely resonated with someone, all right? And we have fire. Here's a king of pentacles, okay? So maybe a king of pentacles needs to stand their ground or spirit is saying somebody is going to transition from the king, queen of pentacles to the king of pentacles, meaning more money, um, more longevity, more options, more um, resources, all right? So take it how it resonates with you guys, but um, definitely walk away. Time for you to show that you know your worth, okay? All right, with this Libra, I could be talking to a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. Um, but everybody is here. All the signs are here, guys. So definitely take heed to this message. Spirit is saying it's okay to let go. There's definitely something else better out there on the horizon for you. You just have to trust in divine timing that everything is going to unfold naturally the way that it is supposed to for you, okay? So you can count on this. All right. Thank you so much for being here with me, guys. I love you. I appreciate each and every one of you. I hope you enjoyed this message. Apply this message to your life. Um, and I guarantee that the seeds planted will grow. Okay. You'll elevate past this situation. All right. I love you guys and I mean it. Thank you so much. All right. Bye.